what we have here is a power supply. Switching power supply from a piece of exercise equipment. Specifically a Stairmaster. Now, quick observation will tell you there's something quite wrong with it. And in fact, what had happened is it looks like it at least got very hot and melted. This was in use at the gym that my buddy owns. And um, it's a 24-hour gym. There isn't anyone, there isn't always someone there. And we had, in fact, me and him and a couple other guys had actually been out of town. And he came back and found this, like this, disconnected. But uh, someone had obviously noticed that there's something had happened. And uh, luckily someone was there. And also luckily it was sitting on a concrete floor. If this had been on a wood floor or something, something bad could have Something very bad could have happened. So what I'm going to do, it's in fact so bad that it actually melted the cord. And what I'm going to do here is put the camera back up on the perch and we're going to start doing a little bit of a post-mortem to see if we can figure out what happened to this. And here's the specs on it. It's a Fine gun, or whatever, switching power supply model, whatever it is. 12 volts DC, 6 amps. Supposedly has all these certifications, yada, yada, yada. <laughs> there's the most important point. And then there's the output. Even for 6 amps, that seems a little, <laughs> a little skimpy. Especially since it was run through such a long cable that's actually about 10 or 12 feet of cable. Alright. Well, I don't know. It actually looks like it might be a little hard to see where <laughs> the problem started. So, what I'm going to do is all this black char may just be soot and but some things certainly got toasty and as you can see the uh, main input plug got very toasty in fact the cord is fused in there I cannot get it out that would be probably the main input filter cap. But I do not see any fuses. Any protection whatsoever. What I'm going to do is try to get some of this soot off. And uh, see if I can see anything. I've taken the power supply over to the sink. And you still can't tell a lot because of all the char. There's a fried capacitor, but if you flip it over, there's something quite telling. At the input, where the power cord is, there's a hole burnt in the circuit board. Burnt through the circuit board. Now, it's kind of hard to tell exactly what may have happened but somewhere here a short happened and it could have been in the plug but my guess is it was in the transformer the first input transformer which is right there and Because it doesn't look like it was in the, the supposed safety cap. But it looks like it was in the transformer. So the transformer shorted. 
There is no overcurrent protection in this thing whatsoever. No fuses, anything. So this thing shorted. In the gym, it's plugged into a 20 amp outlet with nothing else. So it had 20 amps going into it, available to it. And, well, you can see the results. So I am very, and here's the bottom of it, where it burnt. So, one hung low power supply. Supposedly UL certified. Supposedly FCC certified. Part 15, all these. <laughs> I call BS. I really do. So, another reason. Made in China. Not good.